Hello and welcome back to Daily Weekly Builds. I think it's time for another LEGO City update. So I think I need to get more parts, gather them together to start working on my meals plates. So since the last update, I finished tiling in the road plates because I noticed some of them were missing a few tiles. So I still need to get a few more dark grey 1x4s just to go on these edges here. And I've also put down the suggestion of track as to where that's going to go. So it's just going to be a thin, just straight line. But as you can see, it is obviously right on the edge. And then... Yeah, I think the sidewalk from the pavement comes to about here if I go by the standard six wide on the mills plate. So that leaves me with a little bit of land, but obviously I do have this whole area to kind of fit some smaller buildings or something or a little, just a thin, not like a major train station, obviously, because it's like a little dead end, end of line thing. So maybe just a small platform for it. And then still got the construction guys going on over there. But uh, yeah, I need to get to work on kind of building up these plates now and finishing off the tiling on here. So out of all the, the skinny tiles I have, I kind of have them sorted by size. These are the ones that are one by one up to one by four. I've only got eight one by four dark bluish gray tiles. I could use one by two, but you know, if I really had to, I might. But otherwise, I want to keep it with the one by fours so it's cleaner and consistent. So I might have to get a few more. Next up, I need to dig out a few of the dark bluish grey tiles, 2x4, so I've done that, got them here, just to fill in some of these gaps, and there's some further down as well that I need to fill in. Okay, so here I have made my LEGO City layout in a dig digital format on Mechabricks, which is the LEGO building platform which I use. So I've just laid out all the roads as I've planned to do, and put in a few sets of things, just to kind of give a rough idea to help visualise things and what it's going to look like. Obviously, I'm not going to build the whole thing digitally, I mean... I don't know, I guess since I've made all the road plates individually on here, I, I, you know, maybe I will d build a whole <laughs> digital city as well at some point, but my plan is to do it all in person. So if I zoom in, starting with the kind of the beach area, as you can see, I literally, as I said, it, it's going to be the smallest suggestion of a beach, and I just put these tan base plates here for now, but even on that, I'm going to build just like a couple plates worth of water suggestion, so it is the very edge. You know, you have to use your imagination, I suppose, with all LEGO cities, is that we could all love having more space to do it but yeah because it's it's an awkward space with what i'm working with how it's going to be two and a half base plates deep and on the half base plate i don't really know what to put so i thought yeah a beach would work especially since i'm having a harbour area you know a small little sandy beach will be fine and as you can see that's what i've done for the harbour as well so i put in a couple of cargo sets just to kind of give the idea of what i'm going for over there there's gonna be space for two cargo ships where these dark blue base plates are just represented. So, you know, I'm going to do some nice water detailing. Or maybe I don't have to. Since the boats are going to cover most of that water space, I don't know if I'll waste money and parts making it look nice or not. I don't know. I haven't decided on that yet. Then, of course, we've got the roads. And all the blue, dark blue things, the little gold that you see, they just represent just rubbish bins. Um, it's kind of design I tested out. And when I made it on each road plate, it was automatically, like, on there. So... When I put all the roads together, obviously there's quite a lot of them. There probably wouldn't be that many once I actually build the real thing. And then on the back side, we've got our bike lane. So I need to kind of finish customizing that. So at the moment, it's just like a little, almost looks like a river. Let's see if I can zoom in better. I need to make that attached to the road. But I thought I'd put these little barriers here so cars don't knock into the bikes or anything. Inspired by a design I saw from AFOL TV. I suppose the main credit should go to them, but I've adjusted it for my own creations. I just need to kind of finish it off down here so it joins into the road nicely and then in this back area is where it's going to be some shops and things building size i'm not going to do like big modular buildings because you know that would just eat up the space so quickly i'm going to go for the standard lego city kind of 8 by 16 style builds and then just kind of complete them a little bit more so i'll be able to fit quite a few different ones on this area and if we move further down we've got the petrol station area i don't know that car just it's randomly there obviously it's like Go in the wrong direction, but you know, it's there for just a suggestion. It's important that set in. Oh, it's so laggy, isn't it? <laughs> I'm filming this on my iPad, and there's a lot in here, so I wonder if the iPad is struggling to run it. Plus, screen recording as well, all sorts going on. So sorry for the lag there. And as you can see in front of it is the train station, which I did want to include, but I might have to either not use it in this space or make it just a really skinny platform as the space is so small. But as you can see, the building of this train station eats up into the sidewalk on the pavement there, leaving only two studs around the back, which just isn't enough for me, I don't think. So I'll have to do some customizations to that. Or I could just use the platform from the new downtown tram set that's coming out in August. So that's got a small skinny platform, which I might be able to use instead, or just make something of my own. And then beside the petrol station, I'm going to have a little car wash in the back corner. 
And then I think potentially, well, I've got an idea. I don't want to reveal too much. You know, you want to see what's going on as we progress. And then if we go into the back corner, this is where I'm going to put my fire station, which I've already kind of allotted this space for, this one and a half base plate wide by one base plate deep. This is going to be the biggest single building in my city layout because this was kind of one of my first custom creations that I built, which is going to attach onto the new fire station that came out at the beginning of this year. So that's all going to fit nicely in there. And I come up with this custom like hazard stripe, warning stripes, keep clear sort of thing. So that's where the fire engine is obviously going to drive out of that. And then I just put the garbage truck across the road just to give some suggestions as to where things are going to go. Make sure the roads are wide enough and things. So yeah, I think that should all work out nicely. I'm looking forward to this whole thing coming together. Kind of what I've got planned here. So that'd be pretty fun. And now I've made sure that I've got all the wanted lists for these meals plates so I can get on to that checking the parts I've already got and then start ordering more parts if I need. So that's going to be a long task. I think I've got a fair few parts in my inventory, but as always, we're building any Lego thing. You never have enough of what you need. So yeah, I've got all my different individual ones and that's good. That pretty much covers me entirely so I can get on and start getting the parts for these. I've checked through my parts inventory, took out all the parts that I have that I can use and I still need to get a few more, but I'm at 69% for one of these mills plates. <laughs> and to buy the rest of the parts, it's going to cost me about £8. But that's not including shipping, so it's probably it probably cost me £10 to complete this list. And using my design, I've been building with what parts I had, and this is as far as I've got. So, yeah, you know, it's like over halfway complete, I guess. So I'm just going to have to place that order and get those other parts. But, you know, this is just for one mills plate, and I've got to make many many more so this small order might turn into a big one let's focus on the positives so we've got a new delivery and let's open that up ta-da it is more of the gray base plates and as i said i use the off-brand base plates just because they're so much cheaper but the quality is you know basically the exact same thing plus you're not going to see them anyway because they're going to be covered up by mills plates etc so this is a brand i use from amazon lecker baby i don't know it was really cheap for these so i got two packs of 12 so i got 24 in total and i was going to keep the kind of mismatched ones that i was using but then i realized oh wait i need all the tan colored ones for my wild west layout which i want to have kind of exist at the same time as this so you know i can work on both rather than having one or the other so i need to take the tan ones back out and then as i said eventually the city could expand over to this table anyway and i'll move the tv so i need to have more base plates for that so i just kind of got them to deal with you know done that's fine so i can just crack on and swap out all the other ones for gray because I, yeah i can now plus all of these tan base plates were cut custom they're 16 by 32 i cut it myself so i need to cut out a few more to go along the edge of the new gray ones i've got and then, yeah, like I said, I needed these for something else. So they had to go. Plus, you know, building massive mills plate and multiple base plates probably isn't the best idea. So 32 by 32 is what I need in that area. Okay, so I've replaced all the 32 by 32s, which is the easy part. Now I need to cut some in half to get some 16 by 32s. And if you want to know how to cut base plates, then don't worry. I've made a video just for that. As you can see, it's this video on screen here, and I'll link it down in the description and pop it in the pinned comment as well. But yeah, very useful video, and it's not as hard as you might think. So check that out if you want to know how to cut base plates. So I'm using a bunch of my old white bricks as a guide to cut along, and I found these ones. Look at that, if it focuses. It's got the old school Lego logo on it compared to a more recent 2x4 brick. Yeah, some really old ones in here, but I mean, they're all yellowed, and I'm not going to use these for anything else, so I might as well get them get scuffed up and be useful in a different way so the base plates are in they've been cut to size and they're covering the table which is good so yeah things can go back to normal now i can relay the roads and then we'll be in a better position of how things are going to be so that's good we've got the foundations sorted so we've got the track back down okay we are back in action the roads have been relayed and i've placed the two mills plates that i've got already the one work in progress and the one that's basically finished then yeah this is kind of the finalized road layout for now just have that nice long strip so you can see everything with a few suggestions of it you know being part of a larger city but i do want to get a few more of these road plate ones as i said to complete the harbor area so i'll get to that eventually but good progress
And now I'm going to begin the really boring, tedious task of going through our parts inventory again to find out any more parts that I can use for these mills plates. Ugh, it's long, it's tedious, and I would much rather spend the money, buy the parts that way. So at least I know I've got everything, it's in new condition, and I don't have to worry and it's easier. Because, But then again, I don't like having a parts inventory. It's just, it takes up space. It's, I don't know, just, I don't like the idea. I'd rather buy what I need, then I know I have it. But if I don't use this, then I'm not going to get rid of it, am I? So yeah, I need to just use it up, basically. So I've gone through all my inventory, and it turns out I now have 54% of the parts I need, which is great. Although, once I added it to cart, BrickLink, you know, does its best to kind of automatically pick the stores we can get it for the, like, the least amount of stores, and so it kind of figures it out all itself. And when I did that, Despite having over half the parts I need, I've only saved £30, which isn't a lot considering how much it would have cost me to buy all the parts anyway, but yeah. So I guess it didn't pick the best prices for stores, because surely it should be a bigger saving than that. And here it is. This is 54% of the parts, apparently. Doesn't really look like it, does it, considering it's going to mills play all these roads here, but I guess the other 50% I need is the real bulky stuff. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to check out the other videos on this channel or on one of my other channels as well. And of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share with your friends.